melon. Okay, the darker you are, the more melon you have. The more you hear rhythm, the better you can dance. Caucasians, the drastic part, the least melon. Couldn't catch a beat if it beat him over the head 15 times. Now, we all have our individual talents. We need Caucasians. We need Asians. We need Indians. We need Mexicans. We need all the other nationalities. And understand this. They are also superior in certain talents that they actually have that we do not. So, when I say that dark-skinned people are superior to all of us, you are in those areas that I actually named. Now, Asians are superior in their things, and so forth and so forth as we go down the line. However, there's a battle between white and black right now. And, sorry, but the Caucasians have utilized their talents of being able to come together, work as a conglomerate, and take over as one. So all the airwaves, the books, history, and everything else is theirs, and they choose to reflect themselves as their greatness and not accent their dark-skinned father's attributes. That's their choice. It's their land, their airwaves, their thing. Now, since you being dark-skinned got caught up in their thing, you are beginning to view yourself as they view you. Now, if you don't have the confidence and understand who you are, there's no sense in you talking to God because you're too busy praying to help for something that already belongs to you. So, what I'm trying to tell you is, is that if you want to become who you are, and you have to stop relying on other people to tell you who you are. Your father knows who you are. Get your communication back with your creator. Dance to a song and pick up the Bible or Quran or whatever you need and put the knowledge inside so that everything else makes sense and then you're in perfection. Stop worrying about fighting a phobia or an invisible ghost call an idea about who you are. Be who you are. Teach your family who you are. First, you have to learn who you are, and that takes study. So that means you ain't got time for crying. It's time to pick up some books. It's time to get your study on. Black women, it's time for you to pop that YouTube on and go look up your chakras. And go look up ancient Egyptology. And look at the pictures on the wall and see yourself in greatness. Not the people that's mind in the pyramids. I mean the people on the wall. That's you. That's you. You wasn't always popping your neck and running your hand like you got a puppet talking at the side of your ear. Greatness. But I mean it don't do no good if you don't know it. You know what I'm saying? You gonna be who they thought you to be. Who they taught you to be. That's just the way it is, man. So really white Black, light skin, Latino, and all of that. It is what it is, and all of it's true. But the question is, what you gonna do?